hot May day in 1954, the United States Supreme Court made history. The ruling in Brown v. the Board of Education shattered the legal foundation for Jim Crow laws that had enforced segregation in public schools for decades. It was a victory for the civil rights movement, but it was also a victory for common sense and humanity. In the lead-up to the ruling, a group of African-American parents had bravely fought for their children's rights to quality education. They argued that separate but equal was a myth. The segregated schools were inherently unequal and that children of color were being denied the same opportunities as their white peers. The courtroom was tense as the judges delivered their decision. The air was thick with anticipation. The silence punctuated by only the rustling of papers and the occasional cough. And then finally, the words that everybody was waiting for. Separate educational facilities are inherently unequal. As everyone spilled out of the courthouse and onto the streets, they were met with a riot of color and sound. The smell of hot asphalt mixed with the sweet aroma of victory and the cheers of the crowd echoed off the brick buildings. Everyone hugged each other. They were crying tears of joy. People that were there knew that it was just the beginning and that there was still so much work to be done. The impact of the ruling was immediate and profound. It set the stage for a wave of legal challenges to segregation, and it inspired a generation of civil rights activists. Over the years, the fight for equal access to education has continued, and progress has been made. The ruling in Brown versus the Board of Education was a milestone, but it was also a reminder that progress is never guaranteed. These are Interesting Things with J.C.